we're just getting started. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Secondhand Cringe. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs with innuendos we missed as kids. Number 10, Genie in a Bottle, Christina Aguilera. On the surface, this classic teen anthem sounds like a sweet, innocent song. With lyrics about a young girl longing to be set free, it was easy to imagine the singer as a Disney princess waiting for her Prince Charming. That's why many of us were shocked to learn what the song was really about. It turns out she was singing about sex. Well, less than stellar sex to be precise. Feeling frustrated about the quality of her love life, she's waiting for someone to rub her the right way, literally. Number 9. I Just Died In Your Arms – Cutting Crew For more than 30 years, this beloved classic has been gracing weddings, karaoke bars, and everywhere in between. But have we been missing the meaning all along? The lyrics about dying in the arms of a loved one certainly sound romantic and epic. However, lead singer Nick Van Ede actually wrote the lyrics during sexual intercourse. The title and chorus were inspired by the French phrase la petite mort, which translates to the little death, a metaphor for the big O. Number 8. Summer of 69 – Brian Adams As kids, summers represented freedom. We got to hang out with friends, make memories, and share formative experiences. As adults, we often reminisce about these times and consider them the best days of our lives. Perhaps that's why this song connected with so many listeners. After all, everyone has a summer of 69, an amazing summer filled with memories that make us wish we could turn back time. Except the song isn't about a cherished summer that took place in 1969. It was it's about summertime sex, and as the singer explains it, the number in the title is a sexual reference. Number 7. Locked Out of Heaven – Bruno Mars if we're being honest, it's probably not as surprising that so many of us miss this one. There's something about Bruno Mars that just feels wholesome. He seems like the kind of guy you would bring home to your parents. Because of that, many of us assumed that the song was a romantic ode to a loved one. We thought that the heaven he was locked out of was a metaphorical paradise just for the two of them. So, needless to say, we were more than a little surprised to learn that the song's meaning was a little more carnal. Number 6. No Diggity – Black Street featuring Dr. Dre and Queen Penn For those who came of age in the 90s, this song brings back fond memories. It could be heard at summer parties, barbecues, and its videos seemed to always be on TV. We couldn't resist singing along to it, even if we didn't know what the lyrics were about. I like the way you work, kids. No diggity. We just knew that they sounded cool. Needless to say, many of us did a spit take when we finally learned what the lyrics meant. Suddenly, lines about getting paid and having game by the pound made sense, and painted many a middle school dance in a whole new light. Number 5. Shut Up and Drive – Rihanna In hindsight, perhaps we should have seen this one coming. But the thing about being a kid is that we often just take things at face value and accept them. Sure, it seemed a little odd that Rihanna was suddenly a car enthusiast, but we kind of just shrugged our shoulders and sang along. It was, after all, another banger from Rihanna, so who were we to complain? But it wasn't too surprising when we finally realized the car talk was just a thinly veiled metaphor. Number 4. YMCA – Village People Not only did it top the charts, but it also took over seemingly every family gathering. Was it even a party if family members didn't sing and dance along to this song? It's fun to stay at the YMCA. However, little did we know that beneath the surface of this infectious gem, there was a hidden meaning that so many of us missed. The song was actually a celebration of the fact that, to many gay men, the YMCA was a popular destination for sexual rendezvous. Number 3. Whistle – Flow Rida. Let's be honest, this one isn't all that subtle, but even so, many of us missed the song's meaning. It's not that the lyrics went over people's heads, it's just that it doesn't really inspire a lot of analysis. Most people just accepted it as silly and sang along. So when we eventually realized that Flo Rida's request to have his whistle blown was a barely disguised euphemism for oral sex, it wasn't exactly shocking. Instead, it was like a light bulb suddenly turned on on our heads. 
and we wondered how we ever missed it. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Let me know. Number two, Barbie Girl, Aqua. The song was a catchy blast of bubblegum pop. That's why so many of us were oblivious of its meaning. Instead, we were too busy singing along to realize how inappropriate it was. Even though the song was named after one of the most iconic children's toys, the lyrics are not for kids. They dealt with sexual themes and some considered them sexist. Make me want Not surprisingly, the song inspired controversy when parents became understandably upset to hear their young daughters singing along. Number 1. Poker Face – Lady Gaga Over the years, we've gotten to know more about the enigmatic singer, but at the beginning of her career, she was nothing if not mysterious. Aside from putting out hit after hit, part of her appeal was the mystery around her. Because of that, it made sense that her songs were a bit cryptic. So even though most of us knew that the song wasn't really about a card game, its true meaning was lost on many of us. It's about um, poker facing with your sexuality. Much to the surprise of many listeners, she was actually singing about an ex-boyfriend and the fact that every time they had sex, she fantasized about women. Here in my 